And welcome everyone to England's North West. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Crystal Palace. Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And up front today is Anthony Martial. And here's the Palace eleven. Jeffrey Schlup starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Jordan Ayew. And the game begins. That's a lovely ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can he play it in? Must score! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Who can he pick out? And a no-nonsense clearance. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, this is looking promising. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. And that'll be a Palace throw-in. Schloop. Jordan Ayew. Splendid defending. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And not cleared away properly. And in the end, no damage done. Sheikh Ducouré, Schlup, Ayew, top class defending, Bruno Fernandes, decent position this for United to find themselves in, can they nudge in front, there it is, and just the ideal start. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Fernandes and back with Rashford a very timely interception can they do something positive on the counter attack 
Advantage Manchester United. Well, a successful intervention, winning the ball back. Anthony. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And making the move to the inside. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Marcus Rashford. Now Casemiro. Lindelof. And he did well to cut it out. And Palace unable to retain possession. Opportunity here. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Bruno Fernandes. On to Shaw. Cross could be useful. And the problem not completely solved. And problem solved for now. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. And giving it away. Casemiro. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Martial. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. An exquisitely taken free kick, but no end product. Well, he has such good technique. I expected him to score there, but it was still a great effort. Rashford. And the cross smuggled away. Ezzy. Well, no stopping him. Casemiro with plenty to think about. Well, we've almost reached the halfway mark here. Manchester United on top. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts so far. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it fizzled out. There will be one minute added on at the end. That's useful play. It's going to be United's free kick. 
and appear to be on the cusp of being booked but got away with that one And so the first half story has been written, half-time here at Old Trafford. Well, a fine first half showing from Bruno Fernandes. What have you made of what he's put into the game? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. The second half underway, United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Wilfried Zaha, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Juan Bisaka, now Casemiro. Aaron Juan Bisaka, Anthony. Playing advantage here, United keep it. Rashford in the middle. And a time for cool heads. An unforced error, you've got to say. to play then and a Palace throw in forthcoming how about the cross really bright looking attack and he's allowed his opponent to get past him able to clear the danger corner kick though here Let's see about the delivery. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. A gift for any goalkeeper. And he keeps going. Good visualisation and execution. The end product just wasn't there. This could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Another short corner here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Anthony Martial. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. <laughs> Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Opportunity it is. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Can he find the right pass? Ayu. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they counter clinically? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. And players waiting in the centre. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Can he get them level? Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Oh, they have it again. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Chance to finish. And that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again.
Corner kick played in. Well, last line of defence, literally. Oh, could be. Oh, keeper in control. <laughs> Playing it in. And the problem not completely solved. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Perfect challenge. Will Hughes. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, the alarm bells are ringing a bit. Oh, there it is! The mistake punished to the maximum, and the goalkeeper left distraught. Huge error. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, he doesn't read the danger at all, does he? It's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So, in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Bruno Fernandes. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Lindelof. Eriksson. Ten minutes to go. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. Substitution for Manchester United. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Christian Eriksen to be replaced by number 17, Fred. And short it is. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, the threat is there. Must score! Full credit, wonderful stop. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it dropped straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And just five minutes remaining. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. And play halted, free kick given. Well, he's given it away. Counter attacking, very much an option. Real chance. There's still danger here. Fernandes. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Given away by Manchester United. And nicely struck. Well, it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end.
Out of play. United throw in coming up. Anthony. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.